guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Belle and this is your third stimulus check update for the third stimulus package for Monday, January 25th. Wherever you are, I hope you're doing well. I hope you guys didn't miss me too much yesterday. I took a little break, but I am back. So in this video, we'll be discussing what do you do when you read payment status not available on the IRS Get My Payment Tool website. And also I'll be covering stimulus payments for those who receive certain social security benefits benefits such as SSI and SSDI and the like. Okay, so if you're new here and you haven't already, welcome. Please be sure to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and join the family. Okay, let's get started. The IRS has sent out millions of $600 stimulus payments. Still, many people may be unsure where their payments stand and these steps can help you assess whether you're eligible for a payment and how to claim it if you are. If your $600 stimulus payment still haven't landed in your bank account or in your mailbox, you may be wondering if you can still expect it. Millions of second stimulus payments have been sent out in the recent weeks after Congress approved the payments late December. The checks included $600 per person plus $600 per child under 17. The IRS has an online tool called the Get My Payment Tool through which you can check on the status of your check. Provided that you're eligible for the money, the status should show the date of the payment and method. Direct deposit, check, or debit card. But I know some of you guys are getting payment status not available when checking the site. There are some steps you can take if you're unsure where your stimulus check stands. For starters, check to make sure you still meet the requirements for the money. Check to make sure of that when it comes to your income. So if your income is below 87,000 per individual, below 174,000 per married couple, you qualify for the full stimulus amount. The IRS is saying if you're eligible for a stimulus check and receive receive partial payment or no money at all, the IRS is urging you to claim a credit for the rest of the money when you file your 2020 tax return. This year, the IRS has pushed back the start of the tax season until February 12th. The tax agency is unable to reissue mail payments that are returned by the post office. To recover money missing in transit, you may claim it on this year's return. For direct deposit that went to incorrect banks, the resolution may be a bit more complicated. Payments could be misdirected if you use a service that provided you with the advances on your tax refund. The IRS and the tax industry are partnering up to take steps to redirect stimulus payments to the correct account for those who were affected. The IRS anticipates many additional taxpayers will receive payments following this effort. You don't need to take any action as this work continues on. I read pretty much every single comment that comes through. As long as I see it, I read it. And I know some of you guys are saying that the payment was sent to wrong bank accounts. The IRS will redirect those stimulus payments to the correct account of those who are affected. There's nothing that you need to do besides wait. The bank account information you already have on file with the IRS cannot be changed through the Get My Payment app, which shows the status of the second payment. If you see payment status not available when you check on the site that could mean either you're not eligible or the government was unable to issue you a second payment if the latter is the case you can claim the money as a credit on your tax return people who typically do not submit tax returns should also plan to file in order to get their money unless they already provided the information to the government last year those who receive federal support through social security railroad retirement or veterans benefits generally should get the money or automatically. If you haven't gotten your stimulus payment and you are someone who received certain social security benefits, people who received no stimulus checks or partial stimulus checks can apply for the credit by filing the Form 1040 or an individual tax return. If you're a senior, you file the Form 1040-SR. Okay, let's move right along. And for those who receive certain social security benefits, Biden's platform called for big changes to social security. Here's what's on the table for you guys right now. Now. Regarding Social Security benefits, Joe Biden has promised to not only protect Social Security, but to boost it in general and to include a $200 per month Social Security stimulus boost for everyone on Social Security. While this is not included in the American Rescue Plan, Biden has pledged to get this done in his first 100 days in office. I read pretty much every comment I see and understand you guys' struggles. It's not right for those who are on Social Security to wait 
even longer to get some kind of assistance. I really hope the Biden administration gets on top of this $200 a month stimulus social security boost immediately because you guys are in need of help also. He has promised to get this done. Let's hope that he does. Don't forget to subscribe for more information on the 200 per month stimulus boost for those who are on social security. I talk about this quite often and I will be talking about it more to keep you guys up to date. Biden plans to tax corporation and the rich to make sure social security remains funded and to further increase social security benefits. Not sure if you guys remember this, but President Biden slammed Trump for cutting taxes that help fund social security. One of the executive order Trump signed into law last year was payroll taxes. While the goal was to stimulate growth of the economy, what it ended up really doing is cutting into the social security bank by reducing payroll taxes. Worst part, he didn't get much of a solution to make up the lost revenue in the social security bank. While Biden promised to protect social security and Medicaid, this is what he said. For our seniors, Social Security is a sacred obligation, a sacred promise. He said Trump threatened to break that promise and the proposals that he made about eliminating taxes will cost the Social Security Bank almost half of its money and lost revenue. We have to hold Joe Biden to his word. He needs to improve Social Security. He needs to improve that $200 stimulus boost for those on Social Security benefits. Let me know what you guys make of this in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more updates like these. Like the video if you haven't already. It's really appreciated. That's all I have for you guys in this video. Thank you for tuning in. As always, keep your hands clean and stay safe. And I will see you in the next video.